Tonight, the extraordinary efforts being undertaken to bring back the once nearly extinct Mexican gray wolf to America's southwest. But it's not without controversy, as ranchers fear their livelihoods are being threatened with more of their cattle being killed. In tonight's Eye in America, CBS's Chris Van Cleve looks at the tensions that come with the growing wolf population. The race to save an endangered species has five newborn Mexican wolf pups on a nearly 2,500 mile journey. Precious cargo first. From captivity in New York to New Mexico and the wild. Veterinarian Susan Dix. Time is trauma, and the very best place for a wolf pup to be is with a mother. The Mexican wolf, or lobo, was once plentiful in the southwest until it was hunted nearly to extinction. By the mid-1970s, there were just seven in existence. They are doing better and improving, but that's a fine line. Disease comes through, something happens, they could be lost. There are now about 250 back in the wild, but a lack of genetic diversity <laughs> makes rehoming pups from captivity necessary. Is this wolf country? Yes, it is. At Barbara Marks Family Ranch in Blue, Arizona, wolves were a threat back in 1891, and she says they're targeting her calves again now. The numbers have increased dramatically, so they have become more of an issue and more of a year-round issue. Wildlife officials estimate about 100 cattle a year are lost to Mexican wolves. Marks opposed releasing them into the nearby national forest, but also knows her new neighbors are here to stay. So this is a baby Mexican wolf. He's about 10 days old and very soon is going to meet his new mom in the wild. But to get there required hiking through miles of difficult and prickly terrain to reach the wolf den. The wild pups are pulled out, given a health screening, and introduced to their new siblings. We've got them all mixed together, all the puppies smelling the same. And we put microchips in both and put them back in the den. Uh, when we walk away from it, uh, the mom will come back. It would seem like to me that if you just sort of increased the size of a litter, that the wolf would notice. You know, we don't think they can count, but they will care for pups, whether or not they're theirs. An endangered symbol of the Old West seeking a new life. For Eye on America, Chris Van Cleve, Reserve, New Mexico.